I'm a doer. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm an investor. I love the fact that I am fearless. I do not look before I leap. So I jump right into a lot of situations purely as a first responder. I live by the creed, what you think of me is none of my business. I'm Robin Verrall. I live on Caloundra Station in McCallum in South Australia with my husband, Christopher Bullen. Chris and I work together here in partnership, not always in harmony, but we work together as a team to produce the food and the quality of the food that we have. I love the animals that we look after. I love the land that we live on. I love the fact that we respect all of that and make that our business. People seem to look for the stereotypical farmer and I always tell people they have met a farmer when they've met me. Our Indigenous communities, women in those communities, two in every seven, go unwillingly for 24 hours without food every week. It is something that is affecting our First Nations communities and my project is hopefully to change that. My project is Kerry to Country. It's about getting affordable, high quality, large quantities of food into First Nations communities in South Australia and Northern Territory that are living in food insecurity. Kerry to Country came about after I met Jessica Wishart, a First Nations lady, and she was out on country and she called me and she said, how is it that I could get food, better quantities and cheaper into China than they could get onto communities? I asked Jessica at that point, what did she mean, not having any idea that they were paying $70 for 500 grams of minced meat and $86 for four loin lamb chops, which is something that just is astounding. And that's a standard acceptable price. They spend 80% of their income on food in First Nations communities and forego healthcare, forego any sort of other opportunity, employment, purely because it's difficult to get affordable, good quality food. From that point, we created a business that's now working into communities doing exactly that. My goal is to have food and meat options for First Nations people to change their food insecurity for both our First Nations communities and all people that are food insecure in this country. The $15,000 Westpac grant has been a real gift to carry the country. We have been able to get a cool trailer, have it branded, it's already in use, we've had it transported from Melbourne to the Northern Territory and now it's being used on deliveries out into communities my future aspirations for our program is to get more food in better quantities and weekly deliveries into communities. We're looking to get a cold store to be able to put it in and have ready-made packs of meat available for pre-purchase on the spot. We want them to be available to our First Nations people for community events such as men's business, women's business and sorry business. What I would like is more food, more abattoirs, more people and more farmers to be involved. <laughs>